Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So let's talk about how I spend my hours prepping, my hours for booking appointments, the paperwork, how those hours kind of work in my mobile dental hygiene business. So I've been in the dental profession for 15 years now. Well, wow, that's a long time. And I've had my own mobile hygiene business for about two years. So how do I manage my time that way? So I did try to keep track for the past couple of weeks just to really see what I do. And it's amazing. I wish there were more hours in the day. So what I do, first of all, for booking appointments is I typically book two hours for one adult patient. So one hour of that is seeing the patient, talking to the patient, of course, updating the medical history and doing the treatment. And then another hour is just basically including the 20 minutes setup time and then the 20 minutes tear down time. Sometimes it takes me 10 minutes to set things up. Sometimes it takes me half an hour. You just never know. I like to talk. I'm that clinician where I like to talk to my patient, get to know them. I like to socialize. So I've learned to talk to my patient while I'm setting up. I talk to my patient while I'm cleaning the teeth. I'll be talking at the same time. Whereas if I just simply sat down to talk to them, hey, how's it going? How's your day? I'd be there for probably four hours. So that's just kind of what I do if that helps you guys. Um, I've never known a clinician to probably talk more than me. So I'm probably the only one who has that real problem. When I used to work in a dental office, I would be behind all the time because I'd be chatting too much to my patients. So what else do I do? So paperwork, you might be wondering, well, when do I get my paperwork done? So I do bring my laptop with me and that has my patient's charts in the laptop. But what I do for my paperwork is I record everything on my Apple watch. So I have an Apple, um, sorry, I have a recorder app on my Apple watch that I push that and that helps me to record my notes. So I will lay the patient back and I'll kind of say, you know, I'm just going to take 60 seconds to just kind of look at your mouth overall, record some notes, don't mind me. So I'll go through all of the teeth at a new patient exam for the odontogram and I'll, you know, record the teeth. I'll say they have light to moderate deposits. There is gingival inflammation here and there. So, but then I listen to that recording when I go home. So notes, it's kind of hard to say how long I take doing notes. So what I do when I come home is I will open up the laptop, listen to the recording, and then write all my notes that way. It takes approximately, I want to say, I don't know, 15 minutes for some patients, literally half an hour for other patients. It will take half an hour if I haven't pre-entered their information into the system. So if I haven't, if it's for a new patient exam and I haven't entered in their medical history, dental history forms, their COVID pre-screening, all of that, then it's going to take me longer. If I have all of that stuff entered in and I've seen that patient before, then I just simply click that previous template at their last appointment. I copy that, I paste that, and then I just sort of refill in the information, but there's less notes to take. So notes can take me anywhere from 15 minutes a person to sometimes half an hour. And that's a lot. If I'm seeing, let's say five patients that day, oh my goodness, that adds up, doesn't it? So I find paperwork and note taking take, takes me the longest time. I wish I could just hire somebody to do that. When I get the new patient forms in, I have them fill out the forms online and I have them do the COVID pre-screening form online. So what I do with that is I copy those forms into their chart notes into my laptop that I do use, my trusty laptop, that's what I was pointing at. That can take about 15 minutes to half an hour as well, depending on how extensive their medical history is. So these things take time. This is why you guys clients pay us the big bucks because we're not just sitting there twiddling our thumbs. All of this takes a lot of time to do the paperwork. The paperwork probably takes me the most time. I wish I could delegate that so I can really focus on seeing more patients. But I would say that's the time that it takes. For me to set up for, let's say, a typical cleaning appointment, it might just take me 10 minutes because I have a cart in my closet that I wheel out. I bring in all of my mobile hygiene um, bags that I use. I do have a big bag. That's what I use to put in my patient's instruments, dental materials for that day. So I have a closed container that I put things in per household. 
I pack up the, you know, mask, gloves, bib, instruments, the, the fluoride varnish, the polisher, you know, that kind of thing. I package that up put it in the bag. I'll go to check how many patients I'm seeing. That will determine how many toothbrushes I need to bring, but I do have spare supplies in my car too, in case I ever forget something, because it does happen um, where I'll go, oh shoot, I forgot masks. It happens. Well, guess what? I have spares in my car. I'll go, oh my goodness, I forgot toothbrushes. Well, guess what? I have spares in my car. But Loading up the car takes time too. That might take about 10 minutes. It's like Tetris. I put the compressor unit in first, then I put my mobile patient chair, I put my saddle stool in there, um, and the bags for patient treatment. I have a big bag with kind of all the stuff in there. I have a side bag for my compressor tub, my piezo unit, if I need that, if I use the compressor, well, that's another bag. I have my tote that I keep my like PPE in, my hair cap, my loops, but like the loading up the car might take five minutes and might take 10 minutes. It's really hard to say, but it's really not too bad once you get the hang of it. Um, so I hope that helps you guys with kind of the hours I spend. I kind of talked about the overall procedure too in some of them, but if you guys have any more questions, please let me know. A lot of people are usually curious about that, especially if you're a dental hygienist starting your own business, you kind of wonder, well, how long will it take me to set up? How long will it take me to tear down? How long does it take to see a patient? So I hope that helps. Feel free to watch my other videos that I have on my mobile dental hygiene business. Even if you do a search in my channel for mobile dental, dental hygiene business, something like that, you will find a lot more videos and comment below with any questions. Click like if you like the video. I like to see that people are actually listening to me and make sure to click subscribe for also notifications as well. I've been coming on live on YouTube more, more um, often. I will post when I'm coming on live that day in the community post area. So I believe if you're a subscriber, you get notifications for that. So thank you guys for listening and I'll see you guys in the next video.